So it's very, I'm very excited to be here. I, I thought it might be um, a less educated crowd than to compare it to UK or, or the US, but you could really see a lot of knowledge in those questions in the audience. You could see a lot of interactivity. I hope you didn't think about Romania that there is no, no. internet. No, 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 or you need no visa or not at all. It was just, it was really nice to see that um, the the activity of the crowd really showed a big interest in all the upcoming topics like big data, e-commerce, segmentation, etc. All that stuff. So it's really great to see that we have so many well advanced people in one room. I think it's also a liberal events uh, category to have all these people to speak to. Okay, so I want to ask you. Um, Something about your presentation, please uh, tell us um, uh, two or three uh, ideas that uh, you want to transmit to the public, mm -hmm. to your audience, and uh, let's see. Okay, I think one of the big ideas is that um, that companies really need to step away from data collecting into data da data driven or even data dominated culture. So they really need to know what they do with the data, they really need to understand what kind of data they are collecting from different touch points, from different so, um, silos. And in the end they have to connect all that data to really make a, an additional knowledge, an additional usage out of the different data combinations so they can improve their return on investment, that they can also improve the customer interaction. Because in the end, what we found out by experience that even US, in Europe, all the different markets, they're fully concentrated on user-centric approaches right now. So it's it's not longer thinking about channels, it's about approaching the user and then, by the way, accidentally in different channels. But the user is not thinking channels, the user is thinking in the end custom experience and recognition and in contact with the brand. Do you have any knowledge about the differences between Eastern Europe and Western? Yeah, we do have clients in, in both parts of, of those regions. So we have clients in Poland, in Czech Republic, we have clients in, in France and in the UK. And that was what I was referring to in the beginning. You could see that the Eastern European part is a bit less advanced, but they're really extremely fast in, in getting up to speed. So what, um, let's say, the Western Europe part was, was trying to find out, trying to sort out in a, in a natural growth. Really, Eastern Europe is, is extremely pushing up the pace. Um, they're interested in extremely detailed parts of all these this, this big topics like analytics, like business intelligence, like, as I said, big data, etc. So they really want to get an understanding of all those different topics as fast as they can. Um, and if that's then in combination with professional solutions coming from, from the US or even coming from Eastern Europe, because we, we have some technical partnerships here as well, then I think that's a great mix to have. And then Western Europe, Eastern Europe will be the same level within the next years, definitely. Did you enjoy the com? I enjoyed it very much. As I said, first uh, first time, roughly I think 300 people are here. Um, very inter interactive. It's a very good networking opportunity. Um, I learned a lot about Romanian culture. I learned a lot about Romanian people, Romanian startups, as well as let's say already experienced businesses from from market leaders in e-commerce. So I think it's it's a very good portal to do the networking and to educate um, the interested online marketing experts. To reach out for for other topics as well, so I enjoyed it very much. Oh, that's great. Um, the last question: uh, You mentioned startups. Do you have um, any advice for startups on e-commerce? I would say that the advice for startups is almost the same as for experienced business. Um, I was trying to refer to that in my in my speaking slot. Is that really you have to do all the measurements upfront? So. Even if you have only one single euro to spend, you should make sure which channel it goes to or which marketing budget you should relate it to. So in the end, it's analyzing first, getting to know how the users, how the website visitors interact with you, and then allocate the right amount of money to the right budget and to the right channel and to the right target group, because you should really segment on the people that you are trying to, to go for. And that is, no matter if it's a small budget or if it's a big budget, make sure you are driven by the data.